Acharya Sri, Ganesha is popularly known as a Hindu god. What are the hidden secrets and truth about him? Yeah, Ganesha has a few other names too, like Ganpati. And Ganpati is very popular in Maharashtra, in the uh, uh, central part of India. But uh, mostly he is known by the name of Ganesha. And his statues all over the world. There are many stories behind him because why on his head is elephant head. Like it is, it is also known as elephant god because half body is elephant, face is elephant, and the half body is human body. There are many popular stories in Hindu mythology or Indian mythology. Indian mythology says that um, he never was born. One day, his mother Parvati, she made him by her own power. She wanted to take a bath. There was no bathrooms like uh, these days. We have doors, we have uh, privacy. It used to be open area. Just put a little curtain and take the bath. Open area. So she wanted to take a bath. That is the popular story in Indian mythology about him. That she thought nobody's here. What about if somebody comes stranger and I am taking a bath? There is no privacy at all. So she put a little, she rubbed her hands and there was a little dirt. It came out and she put the power and from that dirt become Ganesha. He was a handsome young man. Okay, that's what Indian mythology say that Parvati was, she was wife, very powerful, lot of power. She made this son. He never was born according to Indian mythology. And uh, he asked his mother, what do I do for you? That you stay out and let nobody come in because I am taking bath. Say, don't worry. He was on the door. Wherever she pointed out, stay. And he was protecting that no other stranger come. And suddenly Shiva appeared. Shiva was outside on the Himalayas. But uh, suddenly she came, he came back and uh, he saw someone standing in front of his house on Kalash. He said, who are you? And Ganesha asked, who are you? That I am Shiva. That I am Ganesha. But whose son are you? I am Parvati's son. That I don't have any son. Anyway, that is okay if you are Parvati's son. This is my house. I have to go. That you cannot go. My mother is taking a bath. Then he tried to stop him. Shiva got angry. It is known that Shiva gets angry very quickly. I don't know why. But that is stories. He tried to stop him again and he cut his head. And he entered. And she was shocked that how did you come in? My son was on the door in front of the house. Says I killed him. That you killed my son. I want him to be alive again. And that's the way story goes on. Then he ordered because she she said that I want him alive right now. No matter what you do, he said, okay, don't cry. So he tried, he tried to put the same head, but the head was gone somewhere else. Then he ordered his army 
Shiva has an army that is called Gana. He ordered that bring any head which fits on this boy's body. They try to bring a head, nothing fits. And finally in the forest they found an elephant baby and they brought his head and it fit perfectly. And it is known that story that the Shiva put the prana, pranic force in his body and he became a Ganesha. That is the story. And that story is in Indian mythology. And now people are believing that this is the real story. This is the truth. But this is not the truth. First of all, I will tell you that this is very much misconception about Ganesha. Ganesha is not born with the elephant head either. He was a regular son of Shiva. Shiva was the first um, tribal head who lived in the Kalash and his real name was Adinath and Adinath also known uh, by other names too. One of his Shiva, another name is also Rishabhadeva. So there are many things uh, mixed up but I will use Adinath. Ganesha was Adinath's son. He was born regularly as a boy. The story may be wrong. I will tell you how. If the Parvati has so much power to put just on the, from, his, uh, from her own body little dirt and she made a boy, she has a lot of power. But Shiva, which is known as an enlightened and God according to Indian mythology, doesn't know even that is Parvati's son or my son. He doesn't even know that much. So how can he, Shiva be a god? Or how come Shiva uh, doesn't know it that it is Parvati made this boy? So the story can be very contradictory. But that is not a Ganesha. Ganesha is, has a lot of secrets. Secret is that Ganesha was born as a spiritual. His body was so much strong body. He was, since the day he was born, he was very spiritual. And he was always in the spiritual practices. And he gained a lot of power. Even Shiva accepted his teachings. I will tell you one teachings, very popular. Actually, two main teachings I am going to tell you today. Shiva's main two teachings, that's why he is widely worshipped. Whoever will teach those uh, teachings will be worshipped anyway. But he was the first very bright, intelligent and extraordinary boy who was born on this earth. And Shiva even has to accept him as almost his own teacher. It is very hard to, a father can accept a son. His own son is a teacher. But Shiva said, no, you will be worshipped, worshipped even before me. And that is true. All Indian culture, they worship the Ganesha before Shiva or Parvati. Why? That is the secret. Secret is, first of all, those days there was no writing system, no alphabetical uh, letters. A, B, C, R, A, A, O. So, he was teaching. The teachings were beautifully done those days. He was teaching that you have to keep harmony between human and animal. Because animals are more important than even humans sometimes. Why? Because of animal. On this planet is a balance. If the animal disappear, all the animal disappear from this earth, it will create so much imbalance, nobody will be alive here. Human race will disappear automatically. And it was so strong that Shiva knew this secret. He said, no, you are my kind of like a, the first teacher of the world. 
and that is sure his followers Ganesha's followers they thought how to keep his teachings alive at least main teachings so they put made a, one statue and one statue was half human body half elephant body so the people, if it is uh, many disasters, natural disasters, if the statue survive, usually statue survives. So they will understand what was his main teachings. His main teachings, and we needed too much that teachings today. We are killing animals. Not a good way. Because killing animals means we are inviting all the troubles on this planet. We're supposed to start loving and having compassion for animals. That's what he was teaching. Second, his main teachings were very strong. And if we can follow that teaching strongly today, this world will be the most peaceful world, most peaceful planet at least, if we can follow on this planet or anywhere. The second teaching, Indian tradition still following it. Once a year, once a year, it is a big celebration. I mentioned Maharashtra, Maharashtra is the center part of India. In that part, it is very strong tradition of this. They worship all the statues, Ganeshas. Everyone, all the householders, they worship, they sing uh, uh, stotras, uh, they sing uh, devotional songs about him how beautiful he was, this Ganesha. And in the evening, uh, the, before the sunset, they do visarjan. They, they leave all the statues, they throw all the statues, in other words, in the ocean or in the river. They worship as a god to him whole day. And in the evening, they just throw him in the water. If it is a pond, if it is a lake, if it is a river, mostly they are statues, they are clay statues. So the clay statue, they don't create pollution. Indian tradition, they don't know why they are following this teaching, why they are following this tradition. They are so much blind, I cannot believe it. They forgot the real teachings of Ganesha. The real teachings of Ganesha is that even forget the attachment to the people or to the animal or to the things. Even you have attachment with the God itself, you never will reach to the Godhood. You never will realize what God is. So throw him out even after worshipping. That was his main teachings, that you have to go away, go beyond this attachment. Because attachment is our main enemy, human's enemy. It is the biggest blockage in human life. If we cannot detach ourselves, we will be we will be deep in this world. We never will think about the spiritual growth. So the Ganesha's teaching is two main teaching I am giving you today that first create and keep harmony between human and animals that's why it is half body is human half is elephant second don't even have attachment with God otherwise you will not even reach to the Godhood that's why Ganesha is worshipped widely in India and known everywhere in this world. Jai Siddhartha.